Okay, so now we have a simple application running, and we want to start using our template engine named Jade. And in order to do that, we will install it with npm install Jade, and we're saving that to our package.json, just like normal. Okay, so let's take a look at our app now. After you've installed Jade, we did a little bit of some refactoring here. We cleaned up our app file. So here, if you notice on line 4, we now have routes being required. We've moved our route definition outside of this file completely. And on line 10, we pass our express app to our routes function, which we just required. And that's really the only change here, but it's a much cleaner way to organize our routes. Let's take a look at what's in that routes folder. So we have our new directory, our routes directory, in our root. And if we look at what's in our routes, we have a single route named index.js. And if you recall, in our app file, all we did on line 4 here was require routes. And what require will do, since we passed it the name of a directory, it will look for an index file, index.js file. And if it exists, it loads that one. So that's sort of the default module for a directory. So let's look at routes index and see what we put in here. Well, it's fairly straightforward. We overrode the exports and you set it to a single function which receives our express app. And then we define routes here on line 5 through 7. We just have the single route right now for our route and we receive the request and response objects and we will render on line 6 a template, a home.jade template. This is the first place we see our jade templates. Now we haven't had to set any other specific configuration. Express is smart enough to look at the extension we've provided there and just know, oh, okay, so this is jade, I better load the jade template engine and render the output. So let's take a look at home.jade. So we have also a new directory added called views. So go ahead and add this to your application. And in it, I have two new files, home.jade and layout.jade. We'll take a look at home first. OK, so here is home.jade in our views directory. The first thing that you might notice is that this doesn't look anything like HTML. Oh, maybe it does a little bit. But here on line one, you'll see something unusual. And this is specifically jade syntax. And what we're telling the rendering engine is that this view extends the layout template, if you will. So if you noticed, when I listed the contents of the views directory, we had a layout.jade in there also. And we'll take a look at both of them side by side so you can understand what it is that's going on here. So I'm opening up our layout file, and it's right here on the top. Using jade syntax, we've declared an HTML5 doc type, specified an HTML tag, a head tag, title, body, header, section. These are all HTML tags. And right here on line 4, we are outputting a page title. Whatever is passed to the template named page title will show up here. We're also rendering the page title again on line 7 as a header. And then we are specifying a section and a block. A section tag is just an HTML5 tag. That's not so important. The block is more interesting. It's a specific jade statement here, this block definition, that we're naming content. So this is important when we get into our views. If we switch down to our home.jade file, line 1, we first specify again that we're extending our layout the above the file on the top here. And then we define the contents of the block that we want to replace in our layout. So what that means is, since we're specifying the content block here, all of the code below it, nested in this block, gets injected inside here in the layout block. So all we are doing here in our view now is just checking to see if we've passed any posts along. And if we haven't passed any posts to our view, we just print out a message that says we didn't get anything. Otherwise, if we did receive posts, we're going to output an unordered list, and we're going to iterate those posts using each post in posts. Again, that's another Jade special syntax. And then we'll output a list element containing a header and a link. And we're going to define a route for each post and pass the post ID so that our router can handle that later. 
and the contents of the link would be the title of the post that we'll define. And that's about it for our view. All right, so let's run our app and see what this looks like. And here we are. It says, nothing to see here, move along, as we defined in our template. So far, so good. Well, let's move ahead and flesh this out a little bit.